Preparing for exams can be stressful, and math exams require a special kind of preparation. Preparation for math exams must start as soon as the semester begins. As you complete homework, keep a list of useful formulas and techniques. Also keep old quizzes, tests, homework problems, examples from class, and your notes. This will form a study package for you to use. Most math exams are made up completely of math problems. The only way to study for this type of exam is to practice by completing similar problems. One way to do this is to go over each section of your textbook or notes and make sure you still understand how to solve the problems. Cover the solutions you already came up with and redo the problems from start to finish. Don't just use your eyes, actually write out the solution. Once you're confident in the different kinds of questions, take a practice test. Make sure you go back afterwards and mark your test to see where you went wrong. You should figure out what kinds of mistakes you make and then know how to correct them. Another way to help you remember math is to create flashcards. Write a concept or term on the front and the answer, explanation, or definition on the back. Then you can quiz yourself. Flashcards are especially handy because they are portable. You can study in any spare moment like waiting in line or riding the bus. Sitting down to take your exam can be stressful. There are certain techniques you can use to make the best of your exam situation. In short, these are the steps to a successful exam. Do a brain dump, read through the exam, start with the easiest questions, move on when you're stuck, and show your work and your processes. The first thing you should do when you sit down to do the math exam is to do a brain dump. On a spare paper, write down every formula or piece of information that you think you might forget. This way you can relax knowing you won't have to rack your brain in the middle of the exam trying to remember that one formula because you already wrote it down. Next, look over the entire exam to see how many questions there are and which are easiest. By noting how many questions there are, you will be able to estimate how long you can take solving each question. Noting the difficulty and worth of questions will allow you to figure out which questions you will have to spend more time solving. Start with the easiest questions. This will build your confidence and ensure that you don't miss any sure marks by running out of time. Don't spend too much time on one question, especially if it's not worth many marks. Do as much as you can and move on when you get stuck. When you're finished everything else, you can always come back to it. Always show your work. Even if you get the answer wrong, you may get partial marks. Also, never erase. It wastes time and you may erase something that you could later use. Just draw a line through it and move on. Finally, don't give up on a multi-part question if you can't do the first part. Attempt the other parts or explain how you would approach them if you had finished the first part. Remember, partial marks are better than no marks at all. After the exam, don't forget to reward yourself for all your hard work. Try to relax and avoid thinking about your mistakes because there's nothing you can do immediately following your exam.